Today we review uh, director William Whitney's 1961 uh, steampunk film Master of the World. Master of the World stars Vincent Price as sort of a flying Captain Nemo. It's based on uh, two novels by Jules Verne, uh, mostly Robur the Conqueror and also Master of the World. Basically what they've done is they've taken the hero from Master of the World, uh, played here by Charles Bronson, and kind of added him to the basic plot of uh, Robur the Conqueror. So what we have is, you know, a, a megal megalomaniac type of dictator who wants to basically start a war against war. He goes around just, you know, wiping, threatening and wiping out military fleets so that they can't, uh, you know, in hopes that, to rid them all, rid the world of, of war by just killing off all the military. Yeah, he has this really cool... Uh, this really cool airship that uh, really cool airship that has a whole bunch of propellers on the top a whole bunch of you know helicopter type rotors and also a propeller in the front propeller in the back man you know at the beginning some scientists are insisting that it's practical to only put a to put an aft propeller on an airship to push it but Vincent Price's character, Rover, uh, seems to have it all covered by having so many, uh, so many rotors everywhere except on, uh, except underneath, of course. So basically, the performances are pretty much to be expected. Not great, not bad. Uh, Charles Bronson does a good job as he is the well-intentioned kind of macho guy, and Mary Baxter plays the cute woman that's engaged to one of the other characters and of course Vince at both of them went because they argue throughout the whole movie and also Les Baxter's score is mostly sweeping if a bit repetitive uh, the special effects the special effects are you know were pretty state of the art for the time and they still hold up as much as possible considering that they didn't have CGI back then so overall, Master of the World, which I first remember seeing when I was six or seven years old, is an enjoyable, if you know, if kind of cheesy, improbable uh, science fiction adventure movie. Uh, I'd give it a shot. Uh, you could watch it on YouTube. Anyway, that's my that's my review of Master of the World.